Hi everyone, in this video we will learn how can you set a one time pricing for your product. So let's start. Yes, so this is the product. Uh, uh, this is a list of the product. Now we will add the pricing. Uh, just add the pricing. Uh, adding the icing, icing please create go into the plugin now first go to the your stripe api documentation the, this is the price object basically and this is all function i have level you uh this is for the creating a price this is getting a particular price object this is uh updating existing price range this is getting all the price so the first one is <coughs> uh, so we will create this particular create uh, the same thing we will do just copy it this is the for the creating a price okay before going exactly so let us understand the basic thing we need a product that that we attach the pricing and the second is pricing can be one time payment or a um, recurring payment so in an e-commerce e-commerce site if you are selling any goods then it will be a one time payment but if you are selling any services, for example, uh, each month you need a recurring payment, then you can set up a recurring thing. So I will tell you both the things pretty easily. So let me just say uh, build one. So first I'm telling you how to set up a one time payoff. Just click on add and call for the page that uh, collapse and So the yeah, price is there, post is there, we need to pass the header. It is content, the copy paste from the earlier one. The content type is if there, make it JSON, move it, add, add, add. First one is product ID uh, keys. So just uh, call PST. So this is the string that we need to pass. The product ID that you are going to attach, make uh, this copy. We are getting an earlier uh, product. We can get, get from our uh, Stripe account. This is the product. Uh, this is the product ID, just copy it. This is for the testing purpose. So that's why we are using existing. You can use anything. So now go to uh, currency. So what is this? Just go. Uh, this is a three-letter ISO currency code. So for the US dollar, uh, if you just click over this, this is a list of all the currencies that Stripe suggested. So Stripe uh, basically uh, supported basically. So we are going to use a USD. If you are in India, that you can use a INR. Depend upon your uh, country, you can use anything. So or not depend on country in what currency you want to charge your user so it best for example you if you are a uh, american citizen it's best to you take a payment in the usd and stripe will change it accordingly into the respective audience so you don't need to worry about that so just to give you one glimpse i am from india and most of the product that i use are the american uh, developer uh, so they put a pricing in a us and when i pay my credit card it will automatically deduct the USD and automatically deduct, convert into the INR. So we are using going to the USD. Yes. Now go to the again. So currency is a product is the unit amount. So this is the amount you want to ask. So let's say uh, I just want to ask $29. 29. I don't know why I just put it. So this one is for uh, one time so there's a one thing called uh, type uh, if you go here this is for the recurring thing uh, yeah this is there type just copy it and paste it in. so there is a low option uh, two options there one is recurring one is one time so we will go into use the one time only just set up this this one and then we'll just click on the any slice call okay there is some issue invalid request check out that your post content is a URL. okay uh, we forget to make it as a query string 
and we don't want uh, we want it to not recurring so oh, sorry uh, dynamic content just click on the again in slice data uh, there is some issue received unknown parameter type equal to type okay got it uh, okay for the one time i don't think okay we don't need that for the one time payment let's click on this yeah it is done so it is now that pricing object is attached to the uh, attached to your product uh, id this if you go in your striping and just refresh the page till now there is no pricing but when you just refresh the page it will change to the pricing object new pricing object so this oh yeah uh, uh, one thing i just forget to tell you uh, it's work in a like if you put 29 into 100 that's that's where it is 29 dollar so it already convert into into the uh, 29 cent basically so this is uh, just a, you can make it uh, now the pricing object is done so now we will make it as a dynamic so this is for the uh, adding a pricing for the one time thing so uh, let me just make a design here uh, just add a first one is uh, just type here uh, product id if we required it we required a payment we are thinking it always we are a ufd uh, amount and and since this is a one time off so we don't need much so we will just put a one more button here i'm just telling you how you can use that api that you have built in uh, add one time mm. yeah who are one time is done now you will go uh, add here uh price oh, okay let me just check the okay this is data this will be action and add price one time you can pass it here something like that go to your workflow set one time one time you have to pass the product id that we will get from the input to product id value then leave the currency thing and that to be dynamic input, input product uh, input uh, amount value so uh, we already know our product uh, this product have already attached the pricing let's attach the pricing to again and change it to the new pricing so we will just call 50 product id from here make it now we will make it 29 at the one time value that's it done just refresh the page So now one product have a two pricing. One is twenty nine dollar. One is twenty. So you can add a, add a multiple uh, pricing for a single product. But we don't want it. We will just delete it from here. Uh, you cannot delete the pricing thing. Uh, we I just have archive now. This product have a single pricing. So we will create a yeah. That is the one time off basically. So in the next video we will learn how you can add a recurring payment basically into the